think that one's empty, baby. I think all done. Be very quiet. Now is not the time for jump scares, okay? God damn it! F I fucking hate you, chat, so goddamn much! Dude, you are just a materialistic fuck, you know that? You know what? I'm okay with that. All good things come to an end, and it looks like this is the end of this friendship. What the fuck? Holy shit! No, 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 I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes sorry isn't good at that. Wait, how long? How long? Start with a minute and go from there, man. <laughs> I'll start with three minutes. Wait, doesn't it say on the package how long to cook the hot dog? It part? doesn't say how long to cook 12. <laughs> Just start with a minute, look at them, how much and you think it is for one. Probably like 30 seconds! 30 seconds? What's 30 seconds times 12, man? No, that's right? not how microwaves work, man! What's 30 times 12? Oh, no. 360. Okay, so we have to cook it for 360 minutes. 3 minutes and 60 seconds. 4 minutes. That's not how math works. No, 360 seconds is not 4 minutes. Let's just be very clear here. No, that's three 6 minutes. minutes. Three minutes no, that, yeah, that's 6 minutes. 3 minutes and 60 seconds. <laughs> Three minutes no, and 60 seconds. No, no, 360 seconds is not three minutes and 60 seconds. <laughs> three minutes and 60 seconds is four minutes. You are right about that, but don't assume that that just, don't just take that and go. Oh, they're not done. Three minutes, 30, 60. <laughs> Look, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> we're not making pudding, we're making hot dogs. And I think the reason Americans in general don't like swearing is because you're shit at it. <laughs> you are the worst swearers in the English language in the world by a country mile. And that really goes against your self-identity. The American identity is the greatest country in the world. That's what you base yourself on. Right? Greatest country in the world, greatest president in the world, greatest your words, not mine. <laughs> Greatest army in the world, greatest food in the world, highest death rate in schools in the world. That's, yeah, you gotta be the best. You gotta, hey, hey, hey. Less children die in schools in Syria and you're bombing Syria. Those are insane numbers to keep up. Insane. You can't even kill more kids in other countries. That's the American way. That's... It's not your fault that you're shit at swearing, it's your accent, it just doesn't suit it, right? <laughs> swearing, shoot, swearing suits very few accents, guttural accents. Scottish, Irish, Australian, and as much as it pains me to admit it, the English are quite good at swearing. <laughs> Listen to how I swear. Fuck shit cunt, that was it, that was over. Less than half a second and I got three of them out. My swear words never dominate a sentence, right? They just pepper it. <laughs> they flavor it all the way through. Swearing as a Scottish person is a lot like having a drum kit backing up your rant. It's just like, fuck, fuck, fuck shit, fuck, fuck shit, fuck, fuck shit, fuck. Motherfucker, 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 piss. Pissing bastard, pissing bastard, shit, shit, fuck, fuck, can't, can't piss. It's very rhythmic and just adds depth to the conversation. But in America, you don't shorten down your vowels, you elongate them because you sing everything, because you're happy, because you're stupid. <laughs> So when you swear, it sounds weird. You're like, why don't you fuck off, asshole? <laughs> what, what was that? 
I think he was trying to upset her. <laughs> you guys are being real twats. <laughs> On behalf of every English-speaking country in the rest of the world, it is pronounced twat. It is twat, not twat. Twat. It rhymes with hat, it rhymes with cat. Twat. Stop saying twat. For the love of fucking God, <laughs> stop saying twat. It's the only offensive word you have, and it's only offensive because you're doing it so fucking wrong. <laughs> twat. 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 Like a rejected Teletubby. Twat. <laughs> twat. Honestly, I prefer to just Okay, I just borrow this for like two seconds. I really appreciate it, man. Can I borrow your drill real quick? Like two seconds. Just remember, I. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, man. You got a drill I can borrow? Uh, no, it's in my locker. Uh, where's your locker? Uh, right next to this, right where I sit. Alright, got you. Drill? What? I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about. Here's a story of why you should always check your chair. In this story, a famous writer named Yoshiko receives a mysterious manuscript in the mail. This manuscript tells the story of a lonely carpenter that built a chair and now lives inside of that chair unknowingly to the owner. This manuscript deeply unsettles Yoshiko because she owns a very similar chair to the one in the story. She even gets her husband to beat the chair just to prove that there's no one inside of it, which there's no reaction. But shockingly, the next day, she receives another mysterious letter saying it was not nice of you to hit me yesterday. Before she tells her husband, he already sits down in the chair and gets stabbed from within the chair. Completely shocked, she calls the police. The police show up and rip off the back of the chair and prove that yes indeed, someone's been living in their chair for months if not years, coming out in the dead of night to get food. Can I just say it's like deja vu? Yeah. Where the fuck you get that can from? Don't where fucking did, start, man! Where did you get that can from? Don't. Have you bought that can? No. Where did you get it from? Your fridge. You got it from there? Yeah. And where was I? There. Looking the other fucking way again. Pass me that fingerprint kit up there, because I'm fucking fingerprinting my fucking truck. I don't know where else. Where's my pillar? Where are you fetching my pillar back? What you stole? Not up fucking near. Look at this, thing. she's only here for fucking half an hour. Right! But half a Greg's a cunt. And, and not offering me anything. That's my, that that's mine. my, that's for dinner. Where's mine? I get you yours. I'll f Shit, do not fucking flop. Oh, there's yours. There's mine. I don't eat chocolate muffins, so they're not mine. You should do eat chocolate muffins. If you oh, didn't eat chocolate muffins, you wouldn't have tits the size of the tits you do. You're only fucking jealous. <laughs> Sorry man, I slept with your mum last night. But the good news is, I can be your new stepdad and buy the PS5 you always wanted. Hey step sis. Wait, you're stuck in the washing machine again? Alright, wait right there, I'll bring some lube, I'll come in right now. Cleaning up all this broken glass. What is that? It's a turtle.
Officer says he's gonna write me a ticket because he can't read my plate. I don't know, it's pretty readable to me. We just clean the mud off it, right? Fucking slap my floor, who the fuck do you think you are? It's been a while, are you feeling better? Yeah, I've not been very well for about a week. Wow, me either, how bizarre. I'd had this weird virus. I'd had, yeah, I had had. Isn't it just I had a weird virus? Putting two hads together seems a bit much. Had had just has a better effect. I totally disagree. <clears throat> the namer, while the note taker had had had, had 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 a better effect. Yeah, I think I'm starting to feel sick again. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Steve Jobs. Personally, what are you talking about? I just I don't know. I just don't understand what why, what the big deal was with that guy <laughs> I don't get it he, He's like Edison. I don't know. He invented no. all this stuff to everybody. What are you but, talking but about? Did he? <laughs> did he did like did he sit down and like I'm gonna invent the iPhone and just sat there soldering possibly welding right? <laughs> Didn't he have like a crew of guys helping him out? Sure, maybe he did. So why, when he went to those nerd fests, didn't he have like a like a like a chorus of scientists behind him who helped him out too? He walked out like he was Tesla, <laughs> like tapping into electricity. I'm not with you. I think he just kind of like told people what to invent. Like he just kind of came in like, I want my whole music collection in that phone. Get on it! <laughs> and then all these nameless, faceless guys. Yeah. Made it happen. Yeah. And then they have the big nerd concert and he goes out there by himself. No belt, you know, sneakers on. I just didn't buy it. It's <laughs> the craziest it rant. Is. It is a so. Craziest rant. I don't like, in the way well, they- Do I walk out on this show with all the writers and stuff? No, and I never will. <laughs> all right. But you don't, just the way he advertised. Jesus, Gandhi, me. <laughs> I just thought that was a little... The first one never worked, and four months later, all right, here he is. Yeah. He's the one that worked. Yeah, it bugged me. Geez, do you think I was, like, trashing the president or something? You guys are really, like, pulling back It's here. worse than that for people. Everyone's got an iPhone, you know? Hey, look. No, I can't say that. I was going to say he's gone. They still came out with another one, right? <laughs> That's true, right? Oh, look, when David Lee Roth left Van Halen. Could Eddie not play guitar anymore? You know what I'm saying?